When ice melts, water rushes downstream, and if the mouth of a river gets jammed up, it can result in flooding. Canadian Coast Guard hovercrafts provide a unique solution to help keep the water flowing by breaking up ice attached to the shore before large pieces have the chance to detach and cause trouble. The ability to travel on both land and water means they can access areas other vessels can't, but it doesn't break the ice in the same way a typical icebreaker would on the ocean. I've never seen them break ice there. The hovercraft generates a wave with with its wake. And ice not being flexible, it cannot bend. So if it's not supported, if it's not the ground, we'll create a wave big enough to just make it move and it breaks along the way. A classic vessel travels about 25 to 30 kilometers per hour, but a hovercraft can cruise in the 90 kilometer per hour range. For ice breaking operations, it actually travels more slowly to create a bigger wake, depending on the depth of the water and proximity to the shoreline. We're creating a wave underneath the ice, uh, but it will depend on you know, the depth underneath. If, if the, the ice is like three foot uh, thick and there's only two feet of water underneath it, I'm going to have a pretty uh, hard time to break it. But if there's three feet of water and the, the ice is three feet uh, thick, yeah, it's going to be hard, but we, you know, we'll imagine at least to put some cracks into it. And by doing other spins around the, that location or with the flow of the current, you know, it's going to flush slowly the ice underneath and we'll make our way up. Wow. The breaking of the ice on the Restigouche River helps prevent flooding in the village of Matapedia on the Quebec side. Residents in both Quebec and New Brunswick are often excited when they see a hovercraft in their backyard. Wow. Wow. People usually, they, you know, they get pretty excited because there's only four hovercraft like these in Canada. There's two in Trois-Rivières and there's two in Vancouver. But every time we go by, you know, at night, if I go on the, the social media, I just type overcraft. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find some pictures, videos, and stuff like that. The viewer who sent this video was so pleased to see it with his grandson, he asked the Weather Network to pass a big thank you to the Canadian Coast Guard, saying, you guys are awesome.